All right, hello everyone and welcome back. Buenos tardes, boa tarde, depending on which region you're from. But we have the International 2018. This is not the open <laughs> qualifiers, it just says that up there on the ticket. Uh, but we are actually in the main regionals. And we have Midas Club versus Infamous as our next match right now. I'm Moxie, I'm joined with D2 Bowie, and I'm looking forward to this. We actually saw this the other night, right Bowie? Yes. <laughs> you sound so sure of yourself, no. Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm not sure is that Io was uh, not banned. Oh for, my gosh. For they were hoping maybe to take All that right, for, so. for Hiko, right? Because Hiko played that the other night, but instead they gave it to Infamous. Oh boy. The yeah, Io bias, yeah. right? <laughs> when a team has first pick, you have to ban the Io. Let's see what might is. I mean, we saw it try to the Io. So maybe now it's Midas time to show us how to how to do it. Warlock. That does open the door though for the Warlock. Again, one of the most picked, most banned heroes currently in the meta. So that's gonna be RZS on that. Now, do they pick up the position four for Hiko now, or will they grab maybe an off laner? Maybe for Sword. I would like to see a partner. Yeah, maybe Nice Helker is open. The Beastmaster is open. Uh, I guess trying to deny that Beastmaster is good. Because, you know, I have Beastmaster is still one of the scariest lanes. Uh, even after the nerf to the Beastmaster armor. But I guess we have to wait. Some teams do like to open with two support. Well, we do know, too, that Sword plays Beastmaster. So that's definitely a possibility. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. think you want to let Infamous get the... You've already let Infamous get the IO. And that's scary enough, in my opinion. I don't know if you want to... Uh... Go beyond that there. Tusk. They go with Hiko's okay. Tusk. All right. That is a hero that Hiko plays quite a bit of. Um, it's interesting, right? Because Tusk isn't really super favored in the meta anymore. But in Hiko's hands, it looks really, really good. This guy's very good with his positioning. He's very good with his snowball saves. So hopefully we'll see some of those. Yeah. What I'm afraid of is just the way that Ayo doesn't care much about Tusk. Because he can uh, better through the shard block. But you can kill the core. The core doesn't have that uh, doesn't nice have that option. Stalker. But oh man, I have nice stalkers and so scary. That is still I, incredibly um, strong. It's not the beast master like we talked about, but still yeah, uh, got the, the knight advantage and having that mana on nice stalker it will allow him to play very aggressively in that first night time. And at that point, there's no golem yet. There's, I mean, we don't know me that might as draft. But usually, you can just get away with so much aggression when you have those two heroes. Well, we'll see for sure. But, uh... We've got that strong opening, though. IO Night Stalker, the Warlock Tusk over on Midas Club. I'm interesting to see what we're gonna... See added to this draft because yeah, Io goes very well with the Night Stalker. There's plenty of other things that you can pair up, especially the Life Stealer too. Been seeing an uptick of that now that Io got the change with that tether being able to go through Magic Immunity. Not sure if we might be seeing mm. something. Obviously, we don't want to see a Life Stealer picked up super super early because he's just gonna get kited around. But uh, he has been very popular in the current meta, so I wouldn't be surprised to see it either banned or picked up at some point. Yeah, it's pretty good versus Warlock. You can always take the Fatal Bones off and just. Open wounds, the golem is gonna be gone pretty quickly. Pretty similar to what we saw Tavos Abaddon do in the last game with the Solar Crest and the first two That uh, guy. No, it's, oh it's my Yeah. <laughs> that play. I feel like every time. Oh, I like this. Every time that like, and that's a backtrack alone. I know we're on Midas Club and Infamous, but they put so much pressure trying to take down HFN and Weha that Tavo just gets a free lane. And again, you can't let that guy have a free lane. He's just. He's a beast. He's the probably, in my opinion, he is the best offlaner in South America, followed very closely by Laposa. But uh, everybody knows you don't let Mandy's yeah, like Mepo get through this draft now. <laughs> I feel like that's our fault, bully, or yeah. at least it's my fault, right? Because I casted that. And they all saw it. I'm sure one of the BTS Portuguese probably followed too. It's been a while since his Mepo is famous. I feel. I just feel like. Meepo got some buffs and people started playing a hero again and Mandy's like, hmm, I should try to play more Meepo. Well, he did. And he just got back. Yes. <laughs> he, he did and it was very impressive. I was I was, was hating on the Meepo a little bit, but he proved me wrong. 
Yeah, I know. I really, I felt good about that, actually, boy. Because you're like, I don't know. I don't think they could. I'm like, no, boy. (laughs) They can do it. I believe. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, no, we do. uh, Yeah, yeah, we get the the Meepo is banned. There will be none of that. None of those shenanigans coming out from the side of Midas Club. I'm not sure if that's even something that they were considering going for. But it is taken out. Okay. We're gonna take what is to up here in terms of like being very contested. Mm, I guess. Oh, the disruptor. I didn't expect that one. It's uh, you usually see the disruptor versus the Aya just because static storm pretty good versus relocate and uh, guns being good, but you already have a position five, and I guess it's also good versus Tusk. Sometimes you just snowball to people. Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't like seeing uh, Static Storm work for you. All right. You gotta do. All right. I like. I'm a big fan of uh, of Storm's Doom. I think or Sword rather, Sword's Doom. He's been playing this quite a bit. It's pretty strong in a dual lane. Gets a lot of stuff done. So it's a good thing. And also, you can also, you know, if you want, there's probably gonna be plenty of targets, right? But the IO especially being able to make it so he can't heal anyone. He's not able to get people out of the fight. Uh, you know. Is a good target for that doom. Yeah, as a concept, I like it. At the same time, you're dooming a support. Like, it, it feels such a high cost to pay, uh, you know, picking an offlaner to counter support. But I do like doom in the sense that nowadays it seems like you need an offlaner that just builds those tanky items, be it Crimson Guard or Pipe. And doom is that hero. He has Devour as well as the Devour talent, so he's going to get out a lot of gold. And he, he can build whatever Midas needs to take those mid game team fights. Uh, and he's an overall pretty good laner with Inferno Blade. You just dive people, and uh, luckily, gonna get some stuff. Especially Which... if the Tusk uh, looking. Was that was that sword the other night that we were watching on Doom? Where like the no yes. no was it was it where he like walked all the way yes, from like the tier one spot on the uh, what was it? It was on the Radiant and walked all the way down into the Dang. the Radiant base as Doom and had like five heroes chasing after him. Oh my gosh, the space maker mm-hmm. right and there. He, and he calls Io just uh, booping around, healing him. He wasn't killable. Oh, that's right. That yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. It was Midas. Oh my gosh. Well, they're gonna get a bane here for instance. Pretty, pretty strong position five. Uh, nightmare decent versus warlock. You can just nightmare the golem. I like it. Uh, the problem that I see is that they have a lot of. Sing- damage so maybe PL here for Midas maybe uh, an illusion hero seems pretty decent yeah they don't have great wave clear right now like you're saying you know you've got a lot of single target lockdown coming up from the night stalker and the bane of course you know he's got that fiend scope which is great that goes through the magic immunity but it's one person and then you've got nightmare as well but uh, if they decide to try to go for some big team fights right now infamous is lacking quite a bit oh man we saw this last night actually I believe this was drafted I was like, at, actually, I think you were asleep at that point. I was still trying. I was trying to make it through at like one <laughs> thirty a.m. Trying to keep my eyes open to see who's going to make the uh, the third place decider. And we did see a, a Morphling get picked up here for Mandy. It's a pretty good hero. Uh, you have gap close on I. You have a lot of burst. So I does struggle against that. Yeah, it's... It's okay. I, I like the Morphling here. You can also, you know, become the Night Stalker. So you have the Night Vision advantage when he uses Darkness. You can even become the Eye when you just, like, run away, feather into people. So there's a lot of possibilities here. Interesting the... changeup. Yeah, it's going to uh, be yeah. very creative. Very creative, indeed. Mm. My concern now, looking at Midas' oh, really? Club Draft, like, Infamous, yeah, they have single target lockdown, but they have lockdown. <laughs> Midas Club, a little bit more difficult, right? You've got the a couple lo- ways to lock people down, right? Because you've got the uh, Chaotic Offering on Warlock. You've got Doom. Doom doesn't make you, you know, it doesn't hold you in place, but it's essentially just makes you null and void in the game. But those are big Phantom ultimates Lancer. that have cooldowns. And oh no, Bowie, like you said, they're actually going to grab the Phantom Lancer for themselves on Infamous. Yeah, I, they don't have I the like lock- it. I don't Rory. think they have a lockdown from Midas, yeah? Unless they get a Doom and they have to Doom the right target. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty tough when you're playing versus PL. They do have some wave clear with the shards and waveform. But nowadays, Morphlings, they're not maxing waveform anymore. They get the... 
get an adaptive strike and the other skill before. So that Phantom Lancer might be able to. And actually, I of PL is super strong. You just just Phantom Rush to people and you have infinite mana. It, it looks like a pretty solid draft by Infamous. I do like the Morphling, but having the PL on the other side just makes it that do might run in, with mana problems in the early game. It's super, like, even when you commit the World of Golem or the Upheaval, PL doesn't care. He just goes towards you. Even the Phantom Rush versus the Shards doesn't matter that much. Because as long as you get a target, you're, you're going to get out of those Shards super quickly. And I feel like you can actually Phantom Rush even when you're doomed. So, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an amazing pick for it for me. Definitely. It's looking really, really strong right now. Um, almost makes you wish that you'd seen something maybe coming out from Midas Club with the pickup of the Phantom Lancer, but... You know who the number one target's gonna be in a lot of these fights, though? It's gonna be that Io. They gotta take him out fairly early, make sure that he can't just keep zipping around. But a good Io player, gonna make sure he has a tether up, he's got no exit. Uh, it's gonna be really rough. I don't know here. I guess if Doom grabs himself that Shadow Blade, he can kind of creep up and they can eliminate the Io quickly, but... Oh. Wow. That's a hero. Why is this hero? Yeah. Is this a new hero? Uh... No, I we saw a lot like of them in the last patch. Yes, <laughs> I mean, it is burst damage mm -hmm. uh, versus the Morphling. It is, you can also, I guess, go for toss plays. I, I actually, I did you saw the game where they had like uh, Bloodseeker Tiny and they were using Rupture with toss? Oh, to yeah, the, yeah, oh, I remember that. It was a Tiny. Oh, that's oh, gonna that be on it, though. That's probably, yeah, that OG pick is amazing, by the way. I feel like pretty good OD game. There's an, I guess there's a Night Soaker with the silence, but besides that, they are free to that tiny. They still will struggle against the PL, but the other cores, they're going to struggle versus. Um, I mean, yeah, the nice thing about Seuss being on this OD, right, there's plenty of Integral around for him to steal, but also he's got to save that now as well. So that's providing them a little bit more lockdown, gives them that save, has someone who's just going to make a lot of chaos in these fights. I like that. I like the pickup. Uh, also important to note, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Midas Club, Seuss did get picked up just at the last minute during qualifiers number two. So they are playing with a... Uh, a person that they haven't had a lot of practice with, but obviously it's working out very well. Seuss actually was a former member of the Team Stars, which is another Brazilian team uh, here in South America. So, mm -hmm. a little bit of fun, you know, not trivia, I guess, but information. Yeah, Seuss is a, a very, I don't know the word, He's, everyone in Brazil just loves Seuss. He's beloved. He's a great player. He, yeah, he's loved. Yeah, he's beloved by everyone. And uh, let's see what his OD can do. This is gonna be. If this is gonna be mid tiny, I feel like there's gonna struggle I quite a bit. So, so I hope. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be mid tiny. Yeah, the last pick I... of the OD threw them off guard. It reminds me of last night when Thunder Predator. Right. They. Uh, there was a. I think Suits actually picked up the Tinker, and then Thunder Predator grabbed a Beastmaster at the last mm. minute. Yeah. Or no, 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 no. They baited they him. I think the they picked it first. And they last picked the bat right. Yeah. Right, right. They had the Beastmaster first, and then they sent that against the Tinker, and Seuss just had an awful, awful time. Mandy well, doesn't have the. He doesn't have a high enough compendium, so he has to write it out. <laughs> All right. A little so bit of like... lag. Let's see the couriers here. Uh, I have a... I have yeah, Waldy the Faithful and all oh, the Snowy Owl. I like that. That's very cute. Alright. Alright, looks like a little bit of movement here in the top lane. They feel like they might want to engage here. I don't know. Though. I don't think they're going to be able to get much of anything off of this. Other than maybe snatching that rune, right? Because you've got a Bane. Although he does have the Brain Sap, so he doesn't have any saves here. Because that's typically what you want to pick up early on the Bane. Not the Nightmare, unless you're going for a First Blood. Yeah, I didn't really have any arrows or stuff to lock down people. Uh, I feel like if Thumbs are going to be fine top, yes, Tusk can be the very strong lane, but Bane can trade Thumbs just pretty well, and you have the Doppelganger, so there's no shard play, unless he doesn't get it up. He's probably going to save this kill point, see what happens. And this bottom lane is really the problem, the Io plus Nightstalker. 
I mean, you do have the sustain from the Warlock, but a lot of times it's just not enough. His Knights are gonna get a lot of CS, and then when nighttime comes, you're probably gonna see a lot of rotations. The downside for Infamous is this mid lane. I feel like Tiny has base damage, which he might try to use versus the OB, but as levels go by and he gets more Arcane Orbs, it's, it's a rough lane. Man, look at Suits. He's so aggressive. I love it. I love seeing this mid matchup where uh, one person really tries to muscle the other person around in the beginning. A little bit of trading going on here in the top lane. Hiko gonna have to be forced back. Brain sap and a lance gets used on him. You know, it's funny because generally, you know, sending the off the Night Stalker into the off lane, he can't get too, too much done, but with this Io especially, being able to heal, being able to give him mana and such, definitely makes this a lot more of a comfortable lane for him. Yeah, uh, I guess the advantage that Midas has is uh, Morphling. You can just, you have so little HP that the Shadow Ward is a lot of value and you can always um, attribute it later. Mm -hmm. So in theory, you're healing way more than you heal, but it's still pretty annoying. You're gonna lose some base damage. Morphling doesn't have a lot of it in the game. Uh, but yeah, they're gonna be sustainable. They do have that advantage. I feel like you just see these warlocks in these lanes and they just come with all the clarities that they can carry. Because yeah. it's it's just so value right now. Checking in with the mid matchup. Looks like Papita's doing pretty okay in terms of CS seven and one right now, OD four and one. But a lot of harass coming out from suits here. It's playing very forward. I like this, just constantly yeah. trying to get in between Tiny and this wave. Top lane, Nightmare gets used over onto Hiko. Excel sitting kind of low here. Looks like Doom, he's looking to try to put some more damage. Doesn't have the Infernal Blade up just yet. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of peekaboo going on, I feel like, in these lanes where everyone's, you know, kind of poking, testing the waters and just haven't been ready to commit yet. Kind of similar to last game, right? Mm -hmm. have a lot of aggression. Oh, the shards, though, over on Excel. Is he going to be able to get himself out fast enough? They're trying to slow him down. Nightmare comes out. Sword actually sitting a little bit slow, but they actually have the snowball. They'll drag him and throw him back out. Sword actually still sitting incredibly low. He's actually going to be the first blood. Can Excel get himself out of here? He go. He's looking. He doesn't have enough mana for shards, though. And Excel going to be able to walk away. Nicely okay. done. Super strong hero in lane. So hard to go through that brain sap. Even after the nerf to the scale, it's still a lot of value. Oh, that's why we're still seeing him get picked up. Oh, and just denies himself over here. All right. Free trip back to the well, I guess. Although now PL is alone. He goes here. He does have quite a bit of mana, so he can go for that comp if he wants. Couple of hits. Snowball comes in immediately. They're still trying to chase after him. They're hoping that maybe he'll try. Yeah, there it is. They're going to try to use the shard. Shards will come through. Does block off the path a little bit, but they need more damage. And somehow, k I'm still alive here. That was pretty close. It's not enough damage yeah, coming out from these guys. Probably, we'll buy a cell here. And he's bringing the items to PL as well. So even though he suicides, it's a faster trip back to the lane. I think it's gonna bring the extra components. That that feels gonna be pretty happy. Personal carrier is always a pretty nice feeling, right? Yeah. A lot of efficiency by. I oh, love efficiency. Dota 2, such a game of efficiency. Avalanche lands over here on suits. It's just a back and forth poke and prod here. 17 and 4 right now over on suits, and we've got uh, 17 and 2 on Papita. So this lane fairly even right now. Io making his way over though, actually has those spirits picked up. He's got a soul ring, so he's going to be able to give Pepita a little more mana if necessary. This is the first night cycle. I'm surprised that Io actually didn't stick around with old Stinger down here and get things done. So this is the time that you want your Night Stalker to kind of start getting some, uh, some kills. Yeah, I feel like he wants to finish his phase boots first. He got the two blades of attack. Uh, after you have phase boots, that eye is going to be super fast. He's going to have level four. I think he's like, more stuff. Mm, I'm not sure about the snowball. Hiko, they go for They've got their eyes on Excel. They'll be able to use the Infernal Blade. He's got the brain sap, though. Hiko's going to get taken down. Now, Sword is forced back again. And that salve that he brought out, that's actually for him. But he didn't bring it out for PL. PL's just fine. 
Middle lane, the slow comes out on Seuss. They're trying, they're gonna be able to go. Land the avalanche, throw toss coming up into the air. Oh, but the snowball coming out from Hiko's Seuss and grabs him. What a god, that snowball. What a tusky husky. Throw back all to the Aya. And uh, no bottle over here on Matthew. I think he. So I know the bottle build. Sometimes we're still seeing it. Sometimes we're seeing more of this regen build coming out. Um, it looks like he's just going to be going for that regen right now using the soul ring. Not sure if he'll pick himself up a uh, helm of the dom too. So you have seen that, but I know Zai has been yeah, very. Yeah, see the helm of the dom. Yeah, I like it. Sometimes though, you see uh, if if you don't get like. Very easy lane, and you, you can't get the Helmet Dominator. You just get something like the the wand and the urn. A lot of people still going for the urn, and, and I mean you're against a Doom and more. I feel like the Spirit Pass is probably more value here. Mm. Uh, they might just get Spirit Pass one more. You need something to do with burst now. damage too, like in this particular game, I mm -hmm. think. So even something I I am not a big fan of Mech on IO, but I mean that's also you know if you get Greaves on him, it. Technically, I guess. Middle lane. Oh, Sooth. There are just everyone in the kitchen sink coming at you. That's a nice save. It's not going to be able to buy you enough time, though, I don't think. In comes the Morphling, though. He's got his eyes over here on Matthew. They're going to be able to go throughout the spirits, trying to slow him down more. Going to back himself out here. It's a four-man gank on mid. Oh. Nothing came out of it here for Infamous, unfortunately. This leaves the PL alone here in the top lane against Sword, who seems to be doing just fine. Oh man, and they do manage to get the kill over onto Suits. What happened in mid? Were you watching? Uh, he just got a little bit too confident. Yeah, the, he, he just used the avalanche and the toss combo. Mm. Just too much damage, tiny. 129 damage early on. Mm, sword, sword. Oh, but they have the Excel. They're gonna body block him here into the shards. He's trying, but they actually have the stomp from the center. Creep Infernal Blade comes out. There's the snowball. They just go forward. They should be able to get this kill. Looks like Sword also gonna fall though. And now Hiko gonna make his way back as PL just goes right back to farming. So currently, in terms of CS, we got 36 and 10 on Mandy, 32 and 14 on PL. You have a gang coming out here in the bottom lane. There's the silence. He's gonna use some of those tether slows. They're just gonna wrap around. He's gonna try to shift over here, but it's too much burst damage. Pepita burns him down. Wears him down, technically, I guess. He's a rock. Play. Oh, top lane. They've got their eyes again on this PL. He doesn't have a lot of mana. Does have himself a mango, though. The stomp comes out from Sword. They'll throw out the Infernal Blade. I still don't think they're gonna be able to take him out just yet, although those shards are gonna look really, really nice. Sword's still running after him, but. Eventually realizes he doesn't want to dive that tower. And Katron going to be able to go and just hit some other creeps and regen. Oops. Your future is great. So we've got, right, we've got this PL who's farming exceptionally well. We've got Mandy down here who's doing pretty well. Who's scarier though with this amount of farm at this time? Um, probably the PL because he gets online way faster. He morphling will probably get a Lincoln first, and the shotgun comes way later into the game. PL, if he keeps on farming like this, is gonna get like a 14 minute diffusal blade, and then he's just gonna be diving you. Oh, in fact, he's actually pushing bottom right now. Yeah, he's already moved bottom. I was just about to say, talk about aggressive PLs. Yeah, I feel like he's afraid of Doom getting level six. He's starting to get close Ooh, look to at it. this. He's like, ah, pain. Now my question is, do they teleport more people down right now, or do they just back off from having the PL down here? Because they could go for the defense, right? But I think they need more people. Uh, with darkness, I feel like they just need to give it up. It's too scary. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't think they're afraid of the dark. Look at Hiko. Hiko just running in here. There's out that frozen sigil. They'll try to push them back here. Shards almost land over onto Matthew. Yeah, this low down old stinger oh, a little I, bit. I, I like this. Mandy, you don't usually see that very often. He gets more and he became uh did he become the nice stalker? Were you watching? I I'm Actually, in two different lanes at once because I see Bane is trying to like one v one doom in the top lane too. He's jumping forward though, gonna try to put some more pressure. They've got those fatal bonds down. RZS only sitting at level five just yet though. Mandy is actually gonna be so careful because these illusions are working him. Bounty runes are up. 
We do get a little bit of a skirmish over here. Hiko trying to grab- Oh, he grabs the illusion in time and he's not gonna get hit here. They'll be able to go, try to slow him down using these spirits. The rest of the team's standing nearby. It looks like they don't want to go up on this high ground though. And while this is going down, looks like Doom manages to uh, take down the Bane using that Doom for the first time. Yeah, that's why the PL leaves the lane. He's like, yeah, Bane, you're gonna get some experience, but you're probably gonna die. But that's it. I'm gonna tank the Doom for me. Very much. I mean, yeah, there are definitely like worse, uh, worse people that could have gotten hit with this. Mandy's trying to debate a little bit, I feel like. They don't have that level 6 just yet, but that's a lot of damage, especially with the Fatal Bonds. Oh, Shard's coming in, gonna try to block him off! They'll be able to take him down with an Adapt Strike. Oh, he died before the Doppelganger fucked. That's weird. This definitely he feels like, like a bit more of an even game here. between Midas and Infamous. This time around, I think last time they met up, they yeah, uh, they had a little bit more difficulty. I'm sure now that I said that, I've totally jinxed the match, and uh, you now all of a sudden we just see the uh, PL show up with a rapier. I'm sure. <laughs> Good old caster's curse, right? Uh, it, it seems pretty even, uh, and they still now they actually have the golem, but there's no man on earth. And he's probably gonna have to move uh, back. They have a lot of potential for place. They just need its four staff on the OD and the Lincoln's coming. Yeah, are we at all concerned that this OD, like Sooth has not left this lane? He's just been farming to his heart's content. And we know that, you know, Pepita's gonna have some difficulty trying to stay in lane against this as well. He does have a uh, level 10 on him though. Bottom tower is gonna get taken down. It's the first tower of the game. Oh, he goes with these shards, man. This guy on Tusk looks so good, I swear. Yeah. He's probably the best South American Tusk player. Don't say that now, boy, because now <laughs> everyone's going to ban it against him. <laughs> I'm sure they figured it out by now, though. I'm sure they've seen some of the games. If you do your homework, you know that this guy plays this hero quite a bit and is very good. What's going on with Sold Stinger? He's just... uh. Taking some alone time down here, getting into position with the PL, I guess. They want to take down this tower. Fortification does come out, and there's uh, a lot of lines being drawn. They don't want to give up a tier two this early. TP's coming in, sword forward here. Yeah, Excel, they've got the nightmare off. He goes standing nearby. He's got that snowball. We'll land right in front of uh, Bane over here. More TP's coming out. Nightmare sitting over here onto the tusk. So they're just going to be able to run themselves away. So they get a little bit of unhealable damage here on this tower, but they don't manage to find themselves any kills to grab either. Unlike a K-Trime, he's just casually farming up the jungle as he wanders out, makes his way over to the mid tower. Ooh, those shards though! They, they need some more people to back him up though. Hiko cannot take him on by himself. Alright, there's RCS, they get the fatal bonds off. Snowball coming through, this poor Phantom Lance is on the wrong side of the river. He actually oh. dodges it. What a god! Oh, oh those god. shards! Yeah, that that is a. Uh, whew, somebody better tip that man. It's so hard. He, he was lucky because there's iron to ever the to where the PL illusion is gonna spawn. So he got from one side to the other. That's uh, like it's so hard to pull off. Ooh. We've seen a lot of really awesome plays during the qualifiers, right? What was the other one we saw yesterday that we couldn't believe that they were- it was like a Manta dodge from... What was it? Uh, the Phantasm dodge on Burrow Strike. And Burrow Strike. Strike out of Lasso. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, the jump forward, those sword trying to get himself back. They'll go, they'll drop the Chaotic Offering. They've got the Fatal Bonds. This Io is not long for this world. But can they catch anyone else? Hicko throwing out those shards. We'll be able to slow down Pepita a little bit. Looks like they're not going to keep following him over here because RZS has found himself in with a golem and a lot of other lovely, lovely people here on the side of the Radiant. So they're chasing after quite a few heroes. And I'm not sure they're going to be able to quite catch up. Excel still alive somehow. He's trying. They'll try to throw out that uh, avalanche and slow them down. Old Sting Gonna try to fly himself up. Pepita now gonna get caught up. There's a bunch of heroes. The toss comes out, throws Hiko back, and it looks like they've really only got eyes for Pepita right now. They'll take him down, but the rest of the side of Infamous gonna be able to make it out. What is the airplane? 
He's feeling strong right now. He's got his buddy system, Bowie. Look at this. He's got his wingman. I'm sure he's like, nothing bad's gonna happen to me. <laughs> 15 minutes into the game. And there's a... There's a Fuso Blade on the PL, so he got that strong power spike, he's gonna regen here. And it starts to get pretty scary for Midas because they don't have the hammer, they don't have the goal anymore. And he can move with that tiny blink dagger, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough for Midas. Alright, I guess, because they don't have any Glimmer Cave or any saving item. Still no link and don't manage it for a long time. So a lot of first damage, and Midas is gonna have to pressure the lane, somehow try to dodge the aggression. So are we going to see a lot of aggression coming out from the side of Infamous now with that? Oh, as I totally T towards the top lane. There was a Matthew there. It's not there any longer. Yeah. Not in this plane of existence anymore. I'm sure he'll be back though. <laughs> um, yeah, but like I was saying, you know, are we going to see some really strong aggression coming out from Infamous because he does have the Diffusal Blade and he has that little bit of a power speak peak. I try to say spike and peak at the same time. Wow. All right. English. I speak it. It's cool. Yeah, I, I, they do have a lot of aggression. Uh, they also have darkness, so they can decide to fight whenever they want. I'm not really sure what they're waiting for. Maybe yeah, they have they bring Meth over here and just invade the Raiden jungle. You're hoping they were gonna get jabated by that illusion over there, but Seuss takes care of it in a drift. And the rest of the team makes their way down. They really want this bottom tower. Infamous gonna be able to take it, just with Pepita. Has the Blink Dagger online gonna be also quite scary I have a feeling especially like oh man Excel Excel you're just a little too late the rest of the team is coming back in though might want to try to save him nice nightmare coming out from Excel trying to buy some more time again oh look at that avalanche coming out from Pepita slows down sword but unfortunately does not save his friend I'm being gonna take some time out here <laughs> and there's change over here in the middle lane Mandy gonna try to spook the night stalker here do have Pepita making his way over. He's got the blink dagger. He's got the items being placed on the ground by suits. Okay. Alright. South American Dota. Tower goes down. Looks like they're not going to jump on in this. Yeah, I expect any from to play a little more aggressive. The IO. He's been farming quite a bit. Actually, has a Huda up. And now he's going back to the urn. So they hood pretty good versus those fatal bombs, the hammer that he mm. has. But I guess it actually plays on Midas uh, uh, on behalf of Midas. They're just farming more things and pretty close to the infinite right here. Well, they're trying over here. The relocate comes out. And we've got a Phantom Lancer in the top lane. A snowball comes in. Buys a little bit more time. But there are five heroes up here. I don't believe that they make it out. And in fact, they don't. It's a double kill for Phantom Lancer. And then just goes right back to farming, living that good life, like a core does. Yeah, that's good, but only the Doom. Uh, I feel like the wind conditions on Midas eyes. Oh, the courier! What? What? Where was that courier going? There was no one there! I don't know. I feel like they were afraid that my, uh, Infamous was top, so they tried to use the Dire Secret Shot, but yeah. Oh, and on rush works on carriers. Yeah, I mean it could have been worse, right? It could have a very big cargo on it. But that's yes. that's a feels yeah. bad man right there. Yeah, especially because straight up BKB. The... I'm sorry. No, I was about to say, especially because of the fact that Suits is working on that BKB, and if he had had those two components on it at that time, he would have been so screwed. Yeah, it's pretty close. Just needs the recipe, and that's a pretty good counter versus the Piao. But the the problem remains on Tiny. The initiation, the instant avalanche toss, it's not something that BKB avoids. And I, if this game goes too much longer, I expect Suits to get a pay on this just for the how much first time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the BKB is a pretty good thing for, for them. And if Infamous keeps on playing slow like this, Mindless gonna be able to get those first items. Yeah, Stinger is uh. Oh. Singer is gonna get taken down over here. Well, that goes on. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off there. Yeah, yeah. The, the Doom, yes, the Q doesn't commit Doom. They can actually take top here for free. This is looking good for my. Life. 
It's interesting, right? We talked about having that strong aggression coming out from the side of Infamous because uh, the Phantom Lance, of course, having that Diffusal Blade. Sasuke got himself the Yasha. I think we've got a completed Manta being flown out to him as well now. No, Sanjin Yasha, my bad. And he's going to be going for Scotty. Sanjin Yasha on the PL. That's interesting. He wants to fight a little yeah, early. I'm used to seeing like... the Manta on him. Yeah, it's pretty good versus OD and Morphling because the attack speed is low, really, uh, especially OD. The attack speed is low from Sanjin Yasha and the Skadi. Mm -hmm. Really hinders the OD. But Sanjin Yasha doesn't go for BKB, Skadi does. And the BKB is pretty much ready. So, Sis doesn't really care about Sanjin Yasha. That's a lot of Midas heroes over here, so. Stinger's nearby, you've got the PL. Io doesn't tether to anyone right now. All right, immediately the Nightmare comes out and it looks like they're gonna try to take out RZS as fast as they can. Nice save coming out from Suits here, but he's taking a lot of damage. He drops a hammer over onto PL. He's still struggling. Is he gonna be able to get himself out? Nice force staff coming through, but it doesn't matter. PL is just doing too much damage. Relocate coming through here now. Sword trying to just fight his way out. He knows he's not long for this world. Wants to just put out some damage, but the reload goes right back again. PL is gonna go out. Pepita actually gonna get left down here in the bottom lane. Does have himself that shadow blade here, so I don't know if he's gonna go back in. Oh, he will! There's the toss! Hiko trying to buy himself some more time. He's gonna be able to roll himself back over here onto Tiny, but the tree toss connects. He's still gonna take him down. Mandy, though, does get a kill over onto Old Stinger. And it looks like we have a DC. Well, I tried. <laughs> so, you know, I... Go on. Go on. Ah. <laughs> well, uh, the PL was so tanky because of the Sanjin Yasha. Even the hammer and the didn't care. He didn't care at all. The OD just melted to that PL. And that's one problem I would talk about, right? The uh, control over him. And the Doom never was never able to even commit his ult. They just take that fight convincingly. Even though Midas got the BKB on the OD and used the Golem. It's pretty grim. Yeah, we talked about the PL, how he uh, was hitting a power spike, and I was like, well, I'm surprised they're not being more aggressive. Well, that was a lot of aggression that just came out during that fight, clearly, since three heroes on the side of Midas are now dead. It was a good relocate, too. I was wondering, I was looking over at the Io, and it felt like he was still pretty far away from bringing anyone into the fight, but uh, it went on long enough that he was able to grab Pepita and bring him in. Yeah, and uh, it's actually pretty good for Infamous because they fought into those recently placed wards here. So Midas, they were coming in and they had no idea what was waiting for them. So Infamous fighting in their own terms and it definitely plays in their advantage. Um, I mean, still, it's not a huge good advantage. The Morphling still farming completes that uh, Lincoln Spear sending the Gold Scepter right now. So Mandy, if they he can keep on farming, He's going to have the chance of exploding the Io and the Bane. The real problem is how they're going to deal with the Fel. They have no Radiance Hero. I guess Suits can get a Shiva's Guard eventually, which is a decent Fel counter. But, and they do have a Crimson Guard, I assume. Yeah, they're, they're finishing the Crimson Guard. Ending. I feel like lacking the Radiance is pretty big. Yeah, there's just so many things that you have to do to try to deal with this PL and all the damage he's throwing out. And the Radiance are definitely help being able to, you know, not only just burn down some of those illusions, but give that miss chance. Crimson Guard's gonna help, but again, it's you've got so many illusions coming at you. It's still gonna do a decent yeah. chunk. Yeah, look at this. It's a defensive item. You're liking damage. That's the problem. Yeah. This PL is feeling very comfortable. He's just taken up residency in the Radiant Jungle here. There's no room right now for the side of Midas, unless they go into the enemy jungle, which is what Suits is doing. Realizes, all right, I need to keep farming. I'm going to do this in an area where I know the enemy isn't, and I'll just TP back if need be. But we do see that people kind of heading over here. Looks like Bane actually combing through the jungle a little bit, throwing down some wards, trying to keep tabs, because I know that there's no one actually in the Radiant jungle at this time. Although, middle lane, Io coming in with Old Stinger, Sword trying to get himself out, but there's just too much slow. Now there's no Doom to have to worry about. Did they spot? They spot Hiko over on the corner. Oh no, the Cliff of Death. And with that, they're going to go in for the Roche. Yeah. 
Alright, so it's gonna be a free Roche. I don't feel like Midas can contest this. They have to. But they have to, to get a good smoking, uh, good smoking going. Usually PL is pretty hard to fight into a 5 versus 5. But if you just find him by himself, it's easier to do him because there's not gonna be any good or anything. Mm -hmm. So if Midas, if they can maybe separate him from and try to go for the PL. The problem is that he has an E. A little bit hard to block, but look, that's the clear way. To it's definitely scary with the uh, the Aegis online as well. There's just they've got so many ways of keeping this guy alive. What is he? He's actually only died once too, Bowie. This PL is a huge issue. I guess the only perk, right, is the fact that Matthew will generally be tethered to the correct Phantom Lancer unless he's trying to make a next level play. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's actually true. And so it does show off who he is. Uh, find the right target. But even if you Doom, like, you are gonna Doom the right target, but if I was actually tethered to the PL, does it even matter? Because there's so much here coming out of him. He has a region like that. Matthew yeah, he just got that outside the Roche pit. Oh, look at this aggression coming out here from Phantom Lancer. He actually use the shards to try to block him off. Doesn't have the rest of his team with him though right now. Are they still gonna go in on this? I feel like... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Sword, my friend. There are some friends here. Yeah, they see him. Look at him, he just pops out. He tries to get out as fast as he can. He cannot run though. They'll go, they'll actually drop the chaotic offering throughout the nightmare. There's gonna be the toss up into the air. Sword manages to get the doom off though over onto the tiny, so they might be able to do something. Lincoln's gonna get popped, and they're still giving chase over here. The slow is just incredible coming out here from the Phantom Lancer as he just goes in, turns around. He's gonna start beating away over here on Hiko. Hiko uses the Walrus Punch. He hits the wrong target though. And now there's gonna be the Astral holding PL in place. He still has that Aegis. He's so slippery, Bowie. Look at this chase. All of these heroes trying to get him. Snowball will come through again, but they've got Pepita standing nearby. He's got a couple ball charges. They just really want to burn this Aegis, I guess, but he's going to turn back around. He's going to start man fighting again here. And I guess I guess that's the end. That was quite the engagement. Yeah, that was a lot of commitment. Golem, you, uh, and you only get the eye, you don't get the Aegis down. That's, that's rough for Minus. This means that Infamous can just, you know, refresh, group up, go in again. And there's double damage here. Oh and my gosh. The most likely fuck. Yeah, there is. <sighs> well, so the nice thing <laughs> about Infamous's draft here, right, is the fact that it's a skirmishy draft. It's a very skirmishy draft. It's going to be able to, like you said, reset immediately. They don't have to worry about the Chaotic Offering. They didn't drop the Hammer during that fight, though, so they at least have that. But they did use Doom, too, so that's two spells that are on cooldown that Midas really needs. Tower really likes Matthew over here, just automatically flanking away. Well, they, I mean, Midas, they have the right idea. They pretty hard for them to fight against them because they're farming in the jungle, they're pushing to stop lane, which is why they are always freaking out. But this is a, a, some pressure. This will probably bring if we fetch the base and uh, we will defend their hydrant for now mm -hmm. and that by some ages time. Yeah, Stinger's already coming um, back as is time. Papita. And they realize that there are people headed their way, so they just TP themselves out. Middle Tower does go down and RZS tries frantically to get himself away. Y'all just stand on his ground here, of course. He does have that Aegis, so I'm sure he's feeling very, very strong. Scotty's been completed for a little bit. He's got a double damage rune bottled, thanks to uh, Matthew sharing it. It's feeling like Midas is just pinned in their base, Bowie. Yeah, it, it looks bad, but it's only a 5k goalie, so it, it, it means that Midas, they're able to farm with the more of the OD. And yes, they don't have the best answers to the PL, but the Shinkos card is going to be completed. And as long as they can burst that eye up, they might mm, have a shot. Suits. Oh no. Suits gets taken down almost immediately. He, he used that snowball just a little too early. He wasn't able to do anything with the save over here. Infamous just has the run of the jungle right now. They did pop the uh, double damage rune over here on PL. Buyback is available on all the sides of Midas. 
It feels like they're just really leisurely taking their time on the side of Infamous here. They know that they've got the upper hand. PL is very, very big. And it, it's kind of a, a scary thing, right? Because you've got the OD, he's got that BKB, so they can't heart, like lock them down really hard. But they've got the Scotty on PL, and he's just slicing through OD despite the fact he's got that BKB. I don't know. Oh, Daft to strike over here. Nightmare comes out, though. Sword, he's still trying to chase after him, but there's going to be an Io providing the backup. They're trying to get those slows off. It looks like they're just going to... Mm, I don't know if you want to go back out there, guys. I'm a little nervous about huh? this engagement. <laughs> Mandy tethering up to Sword. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this Io bigger? Or it looks bigger. No. When the Morphling becomes the Io. I think it's the same. Maybe it depends on maybe All it's like particle right. effects or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, still, why does they, they do have a shot? I don't like that Doom has the Shiva's guard queued up because I feel like OD should get that item, and he, he should try to get a radiance or a BKB. I feel like BKB so that he can uh, from line for Midas so that OD can get the hammer off. You know, the danger. or just get a radiance. Two Shivas. It's just such an expensive item to get the AoE, the AoE as well. I feel like it's not worth it. Can he get it in time though? Can he get a Radiance in the time left in this game? Like, can they make enough space? Because it feels like Infamous is just running at them. Io too just picked up his level, uh, level 15 talent, so he's got the Scepter bonus now for the rest of his team. Oh. That's yeah, such an OP Night talent. Happy. Yeah, Night Soccer's happy, yeah. PL's happy. Bane, yeah, technically, like, if they want to. I doubt he's going to be tethered to Bane, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in theory, the Doom could farm it fast enough, but he's still level 14, so the eye all... And without the level 15 talents, where you increase the Devour bonus ability. You have some GPM, but it's not amazing. So maybe if he can get the next stone, maybe he should have got it, but... Let's run first. Matthew just bought a gem. They're gonna just take over the map even more now with having that vision and being able to tear down any of the other vision. Yeah, there it is. There's that uh, gem over here for Night Stalker. And he's got that Ags bonus with the IO Tether. It's pretty scary. Butterfly's queued up next too for the PL. I do like what Manny is doing. He actually becomes the Doom, gets the Scorch Earth, so he can farm faster. Mm. He's just cruising the map with the bonus boost speed. This thing right now. Um, yeah, so they didn't really use the first Aegis. The Midas has pretty decent high ground defense. But the question is whether Infamous can get enough map control to secure the next Roshan and then try to go for it. Look at these two. Stinger and Matthew are just combing all over the jungle. Let's go ahead, casually de-ward. And the rest of Midas, they, they feel scared. They're just sticking as five. They know that they really can't go out there. The BKB is queued up, though, on Sword yeah, now, okay. so... I know you'll like that better. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah, the BKB is pretty good. Oh, they're maybe trying to bait. They're baiting him. Yeah, Axali goes out with that nightmare. Immediately does manage to get. Oh no, Mandy's stuck on the cliff right now. He needs to get down there, help his friends. He's chipped his oh, over no. to the Night Soccer. Wants to fly himself down. They'll go and they'll use that chaotic offering. Looks like Sword just gonna get obliterated here. Mandy trying his best. The BKBs are coming out though from Pepita. He doesn't want to get taken out here or slowed down. Looks like we've still got this engagement over here. Suits trying to run himself out. He pops his own BKB, but the slow is just so good. There's a godlike now over onto PL. Matthew actually gonna get taken down. Mandy switches himself over to this Night Stalker. And he's gonna try to put some more damage over here on this PL. He's gonna have to see. Oh, he gets silenced up. There's the Halberd coming out. He gets stunned as well. Mandy, he cannot get away fast enough. The only survivor looks like it's gonna be Hiko over here, who's making his way back home. Buyback comes out from Mandy. No fort. That was such a good bait by Infamous. I mean, Mandy actually had that right idea. Uh, he the Night Stalker uses the Hunter in the Night to get it out of the. But even then, the Doom died again without being able to Doom because he cannot find the right illusion. So it's so tough for Sword to actually play this game. The Doom pick. It's, it's tough. You get the early Doom, you don't expect the PL. Uh, but he's trying his best. 
in Vanguard does something, but it's it's not real damage. And you're struggling in actually controlling the deal. He's just diving everyone. No one actually has damage on him. He's definitely outputting enough damage himself too. You saw the BKBs get popped, but it didn't even matter. But Scotty Slow was doing too much, yeah. and there all those illusions, and then you've got, of course, Papita throwing in more damage. He's got the moon shard on him now, Bowie. They can't go in that pit. They don't have chaotic offering. They just can't go anywhere near that. Look at all Stinger. He's already very aggressive. He's looking for whatever he can find over here. Smoke comes out actually over on this IO. It's like they found themselves soothed. Oh no, Fiend's Grip comes out. PL is here. He's beyond godlike. He just finished the Shiva, so there's no buyback. No buyback. That's yeah. scary. I don't know, this game's looking real rough right now. There's PL, he just dives right into the base. This doesn't even care at all. Knows he has an Aegis. We'll just go ahead and use that Doppel, get himself away, regroup with the rest of the team. Matthew gonna be able to heal him up, no problem. They're just gonna reset, go back in. This now's the time, right? Suits is down. There's no reason why they shouldn't try to go up here. Man, he's trying. He's trying to be that Phantom Lancer. He do the same thing, but uh, not having as much luck here. Look at this army, just invading. Snowball comes out. They're trying to figure out where they're going to go, how they're going to get people out fast enough. But this PL just constantly hitting all these racks, wailing away. It just feels like they're running around in circles. They can't figure it out. Shards come in. He doesn't care. He's just going to stay there. Lincoln's gets popped again. There's going to be the jump in. Pepita, he's got his eyes over here. Can he get the kill? They're going to be able to go ahead throughout the Doom. But what did they do? I can't even see with everything coming out here. It doesn't look like it's the right target. And again, look at this Phantom Lancer. He's just running everyone down. He's chasing after Mandy. Mandy as the Phantom Lancer here. They're going to turn right back. In comes the Io. He's gone and brought back Pepita here. He's going to go whale away again. Look at this guy. How do you stop him? All right, you drop the Chaotic Offering. That's looking pretty good. And maybe you're going to be able to take down this Phantom Lancer, pop the Aegis. Yeah, it looks like that'll be the case, but he's coming right back up again. He got barely still alive, and he's going to try to run himself out. Again, Phantom Lancer, though, he's just going after RZS. Chases his eyes. It's Phantom Lancer on Phantom Lancer. It looks like Mandy doesn't feel confident that he can win this fight. There's just everything in the kitchen sink here. We need an Earthshaker to go for a dunk. Looks like Suits, he drops the hammer. Can he get out? He can't. He's down for 74 seconds. Night Stalker now. He had his IOs over here onto Mandy. Mandy's gonna get silenced up. This Phantom Lancer is like all the way deep into the space. Turns his attention now to Mandy. He says, I wanna just take out right now. Walrus Punch comes through though. Over onto PL. He might have bitten off a little bit more than he could chew. They should be able to get him. No, again, he goes for the Qs. Trying to hide himself here within all of his illusions. They'll finally slay him. That's 1077 gold that they just got for killing that Phantom Lancer. And that PL doesn't even have a heart yet. Not even as tanky as it could be. Uh, that's rough. The Doom the Doom was committed on the Tiny, and that's one of my issues with letting Io through and then get getting the Doom. Because you can be like, well, yeah, just Doom the Io and he's not going to be able to kill anyone. But that's not what you want. You want to be able to Doom a core. But I will always be able to save. So Papita, he was full HP. He still didn't commit the cheese and uh, he just won that fight convincingly. Uh, I don't know. I, I like what Midas tried to do. You know, use the tusk, use the morphling, those mobility heroes to get on top of the IO. But if you don't really destroy the laning phase, uh, you just cannot do that because the cores are too strong and they're gonna they're gonna go onto you. And the IO, he has those friends. But he has some pretty strong friends here. Good old Wambulance. Coming in to save the day at the last second. Look at look at instantly just how much that brightens up once he tethers here to that uh, Night Stalker during during darkness. Oh my goodness. They're trying to find a pickoff, but not finding anyone. They might be able to find the courier. Yeah, they ping out, they see the courier. There is somebody nearby, and it is the Io here with that Night Stalker. Dire Courier does get killed, manages to take out that Daedalus, though. That's looking pretty good. Night Stalker coming in. Looks like they're going to go reload him out. To safety, but I'm sure they're waiting for Matthew to come back here. Yeah, they find it. They ping it out. You go. And it looks like wow, alright. Mandy gets a kill over on Excel. Oh, he tries to he tethers away to the Night Stalker illusions! Oh Matthew, that was a nice play. I'm not sure if you're still gonna be able to make it out though, although you're spending a lot of time having them chase you. Whoa. Again! Look at him, he's got a haster and he's just gonna zip out. He's a little Haley's comet over here. What a play. Oh, what a hero. Matthew, God. Yeah, Io is so pesky. Level 17 doesn't really, doesn't even feel like a support. You're just cruising around the map, and they have to commit so much to try to get this ball. And look, they're gonna fight here. 
We've been without the bane. I mean, they're feeling real strong, right? You've got this gigantic Papita. It doesn't have that Daedalus, at least, right? So that's, uh... That is one thing going for uh, the side of Midas. I doesn't have it just yet, but this PL is a monster. He's got cheese on him. He's going for a BKB next. And again, like you said, he doesn't have heart. And they're already, they just cannot seem to take him down. They had to use so many resources the last fight they had. It was definitely worth it. He was worth a lot. A king's ransom, but... Yeah, the, the, gold, the, the net worth difference though is so big. And it, it doesn't feel like Midas can leave their base, even when the Aegis is down, even when you know some of the heroes on the Ethan side are, is, are dead. Mm. They try to go for place, but this Aghanim Scepter I saw, he just controls everything, and it's it's rough. I, I'm not even sure what you have to do right now. I feel like you have to try another high ground defense. Mm. I don't know. They're trying to smoke here. Do they, look, these. they look like bots the way they keep running around in circles. Like They just can't figure out where does they need to go. They don't have the Bane over here, though, so maybe this could be a good engagement for them, because some of them are already headed out. Tiny's still here, and the PL. Pico does reveal himself. Looks like they want it. Oh, Walrus Punch open up all the put the snowball. They're just trying to stun him in place. Doom does actually come out finally onto the correct Phantom Lancer. Io though says nope. Aww. Stay away. Not today. And the BKB gets used on Seuss too. That's actually pretty huge here. And they can re-engage. They're gonna have to get out of here. Committed everything besides the golem. They, oh, they want to get Matthew, but there's a jump in forward coming out from Pepita Avalanche. He just obliterates ours. Yes, there's no more Warlock here. In comes Matthew. He's got that overcharge. I've got their eyes over here. He'll be able to go. Blink himself out. Snowball comes in, buying again more time sword. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't have that doom anymore. And they're just trying to get him out again. Another save coming out from the OD. Looks like they're still going to be able to take down Seuss. They'll be able to take down the Bane, though, as well. And look at this PL. He just runs right into this base. He's not ready to end this. He's got his eyes over here on Mandy. Sword gets taken down by Pepita, and he's just slicing away over at this this Morgling. Look at it! It takes so long to take him down, but they still manage to get it with the help from the aisle. And they're just gonna chip away at the tower here, one by one by one. Pepita, he's still hungry. He's got his eyes over here onto these tier fours. They're ready to just finish up this game, Bowie. Walrus Punch comes out on Hika. He's gonna have to run himself back, and the Nullifier gets used. That's how rich Old Stinger is right now. He has a Nullifier. They're gonna disarm the OD. Banish comes out. Gem just lying over there on the ground, all casual, like, you know. Chaotic Offering gets used. BKBs get popped coming out from the suit. He's trying to get out, but this o he just won't let this OD go. PL thinking about diving for half a second there. Won't do it. Goes back and is gonna just focus on the objectives. I don't know. I don't know how they do this now. Jump forward again. Pepita tossing up in the air. Has that BKB, the Fiend's Grip. Again, the save coming out from Hiko. But where's he going to go? He's only got so many options here. They drop the hammer. It doesn't matter. He's going to get taken down. They will finally lose the Bane. So we're trying to run away. They don't have that Gem of True Sight over here right now. It's actually laying somewhere over in the mid lane, I believe. Hiko trying to get himself out. But a tree just aimed at his face. Gets thrown out. And that's going to be game, Bowie. It was a good short for Midas at the beginning. But as Infamous gets more levels, when Yayo gets levels, I mean, that again is after Guys Talker just controls the game. And, uh, I mean, they, they tried their best. A lot of good snowball saves from Hiko. A lot of uh, good morphs by Mandy. He became the PL, who was actually doing a lot of damage. It just felt like they were too far behind after the second Aegis, and it's pretty hard to bounce back. No, I think the pale just, he exploded. He just exploded with the net worth and, and really just took over the game. I mean, you saw how bad that was. They had BKBs on people. And usually, you know, that gives you a little cushion of comfort, so to speak, where you think, okay, yeah, no, um, you know, we're going to be able to take this another fight. I'm not going to be locked down. It's going to be okay. But at that point, the amount of items that PL had and just the damage he was outputting, it didn't matter. It didn't matter that, you know, you weren't able yeah. to, you know, get that avalanche off. Although, Pepita, you know, for his sake, he did get quite a few of them off just before those BKBs could even get popped. Matthew, of course, using that IO, just the saves were, were awesome coming out. And, of course, old Stinger, this guy had so much net worth. He has a, had a Lotus Orb and a Nullifier at the end of the game. My goodness, infamous showing why mm -hmm. they do consistently end up placing in the uh the top rankings here for south america midas club they put up a good fight but at the end of the day just weren't able to do it yeah good luck next time they uh they play pretty well but 
Infamous takes this one. Bio ones, you know, Midas, they're probably at the same level as Infamous, but with Bio ones, that's what happens. You, you just win that one game. All right. Well, we've got one more match for you coming up uh, that Bowie and I will be covering, and then I believe Brax will be taking over. So we actually have the one that everyone has been waiting for. It's going to be SG Esports versus Pain Gaming. Guys, you don't want to miss this match. It's going to be amazing. So make sure that you sit tight, and we'll be back as soon as that match is ready.